Welcome to the Falco training course. During the training course, we're going to be showing you how to install Falco on Windows. The following are the pre requirements needed in order for you to be able to install Falco on Windows. Our support operating systems range from Windows Server 2008 R2 all the way to Windows Server 2019. You will need a CPU that has 2 GHz or higher for performance, preferably a dual core. You're going to need at least 16 gigs of RAM, compatible storage such as an SSD, hard drive, a SAN, a NAS, or an F3 bucket. Depending on your security preferences, you're going to have to open for inbound and outbound communication port 80 for HTTP or port 443 for HTTPS. The supported web browsers you can access user portal and the admin portal are Chrome, Edge, Firefox, and Safari. Now, let's go ahead with installation. Now, before we begin our installation, it's important to mention that if you would like to know more information about our requirements, feel free to access our support documentation at getfalcloud.com for such support docs. Using the search bar, search for requirements, where you will be given further details about the requirements needed to install FileCloud. Now, to access the FileCloud Windows installer, you will need to access the FileCloud customer portal. An entry or credential is given when you register for a free trial. Once you log into the customer portal, you're going to go into the download section and select the Windows 64 pipe. I have already downloaded the installer so we can commence our installation. Once your installer has downloaded, just double click on the installer. The Falcon installer will come up and just click on Next. On the second step, you will be asked which drive or unit would you like to install the file cloud. In my case, I only have one drive, so I'm going to select C. Click on Install, and the installer will commence. During this process, FileCloud will begin on unpacking all the packages needed to install FileCloud. At the same time, it will also install any dependencies it needs to run. This process takes anywhere, depending on your CPU, from 5 to 10 minutes. During the installation, you might be asked to install Windows Redistributable Packages in case you don't have them. For the installation, click OK. Click I agree in terms and conditions and install the needed package. Once done, click on Close so the file cloud installer can complete. Once file cloud is finishing installing, click on Finish and it will start this file cloud control panel. From within the file cloud control panel, you're going to have multiple options, such as creating certain services or starting them. Let's start by making the primary and most important capabilities of file cloud services, such as the web server, database, and others. Perfect. At this point, let's start by initiating the database. Once the database is started, we'll proceed on starting the web server. Now the cron. The message queue has already started, so now we're going to be starting the memcache. And the document preview followed by the content search. The document preview is needed if you would like to convert normal documents into PDFs, and the content search is needed if you would like to index documents. If you're not looking to index document, then this feature is not necessarily needed to be started. And finally, the Foglet Helper. To know more information about what does each service do, feel free to visit our documentation at getfilecloud.com for slash support docs. Now to make sure the installation went correctly, click on the install check. 
you can scroll down making sure that everything is working as it should finally let's click on extended checks where we can verify that everything is working as expected at this point in time let's go back into the control panel of file cloud and access the admin portal you will need to access the admin portal to finish the configuration the default username for the admin portal is admin and the password is password all lowercase click on sign in you're going to see multiple flags that need to be configured at this point you can read the configuration wizard or simply close it you're going to have to set a storage path in this scenario i'm going to create on my local disk c and i've created one called file cloud do not delete i'm going to copy the path to this folder paste it check the path and apply it now you'll need to install your license to obtain your license you're going to have to access your file cloud customer portal click on dashboard and click on begin trial once you click on begin trial you're going to be able to download your license i have already done the same so i'm going to go into choose file license open and apply file cloud will refresh and your license should be displayed now once you're seeing this you have successfully installed file cloud in our next training videos, we will show you how to configure the rest. Congratulations on completing the FileCloud training course on how to install FileCloud on Windows. If you need any help, feel free to contact your support team at support at .com. If you need further information regarding sales and pricing, feel free to contact our sales team at sales at .com. And if you'd like to visit our documentation, feel free to access it at getfilecloud.com forward slash support docs.